o saca pantuo. O saca tingong. O saca catauhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Duluan sa sagagatos ka mga individual ang nangandoy ng musulod ng pagkapresidente sa Pilipinas. Dakbayan sa Sugbo, aduna na nalay 22 kabagong kaso sa coronavirus kagahapong adlawa. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Inyusang Puwersa sa CCTA News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, dulaan sa sugagatos ka mga individual ang nangandoy ng musulod ng presidente sa Pilipinas gikan sa record sa Commission on Elections kung kumili. Nagpakita nga doon ay 97 ka mga certificate of candidacy nga gipasa sa pagkakandidato sa pagkapresidente. Naglakip kini nila ni Vice President Lenny Robredo Senator Manny Pacquiao, Manila Mayor Isko Moreno, Senator Panpilo Lacson, kanhi Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr. o Senator Ronald De La Rosa. Samtang 29 usab ka COC ang nidagan sa pagka-vice presidente nga naglakip nila ni Mabuhay Partilist Representative Lito Achienza, Senator Christopher Go, Dr. Willie Ong, Senate President Vicente Soto III o Senator Francis Pangilinan. Doon na usay sin 176 ka COC sa pagka-senator. Lakip na sa mga relationes na sila si Risa Honteberos, Joel Villanueva, Miguel Zubere, Sherwin Gachalian, Laila Dilima, Richard Gordon, di nangandoy nga mubalik sa pagka-senador. Mao sila si Lorin Ligarda, Francis Escudero, J.B. Ejercito, Jingo Estrada, Alan Peter Cayetano, Antonio Trillanes, Noli Di Castro, o Gringo Hunasan. Senate President Tito Soto may bisita sa Sugbo o misubay sa problema ng giatubang karon sa mga sektor ni nagpadayon ng hulga sa pandemya. Pagkauman, nakikita kini ni Governor Gwendolyn Garcia ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Gia Navarro. Naking atubang si Senate President Vicente Soto III sa mga sectoral leaders gikan sa Central Visayas atol siyang pagbisita sa Sugbo niya tong Oktubre 8. Ini aron ipaabot ang ilang mga sulirang giatubang ilabinani na padayang epekto sa coronavirus crisis. Pipila sa mga naisgutan mao ang pagbaton og igong pundo aron mapatuman ang mga programa sa matag LGU. Inungdan nga gibaruga ni Soto ang kamahinungdanon sa bottom-up budgeting nga nakalatid sa ilang Budget Reform Advocacy for Village Empowerment on Brief Program. Sa mga programa, makabaton ang matag LGU o Local Development Fund aron mapatuman ang ilahang mga programa. Alam niyo ba pagka binalans natin yung budget, uh, hindi tayo kailangan mangutang. Yung dati natin utang, nababayaran na natin yun. Meron kami nakalagay doon sa uh, budget natin, sa General, Agreement, uh, General uh, Appropriations Act. Doon sa General Appropriations Act, nakalagay doon yung automatic na yung uh, uh, pagbabayad ng budget eh. Automatic po yun. Pero 50 to 55 percent of the budget now is for personal services. This is what I'm saying sa mong hybrid town hall meeting mo ang ayuda na ito sa mga vulnerable sectors pagbabalik sa ilang negosyo human sa lockdown o uban pa. Maong ipasalig si Soto na andam niyang matagan o kasulparan o manadungog ang mga suliran gikan sa mga concerned sectors. So anyway, again, I understand the problem and uh, we're ready to address it. Human sa mga town hall meeting, nagkikita si Senador Soto ni Gobernadora Gwendolyn Garcia sa Kapitolyo. Naisgutan nila mao ang kainit sa politika sa Sugbo, COVID-19 response o mga plano nini alang sa Tibuk Probinsya sa musunod pang mga katuigan. I've always uh, made it a point to help the Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center, which is uh, the PGH of the South. And so you can ask the leaders here to work with the city of Yes, of course. Yes, of course. It's a mutual 
Na inukuman nga sa nakalabay nga simana, iduso sa iyang kandidatura si Soto sa pagkabise presidente. Kauban ang running mate nining si Senador Pan Piloping Lacson, insang mulansar sa pagkapresidente. Gian Navarro, CCTN News. Tungod kay Way Kuntra sa iyang paggagan e si representante kon nga pagkakongresista sa unang distrito sa Lalawigan sa Sugbo ubos sa baybalauranan si Mayor Gerald Anthony Samsam Gulias dunay dakong panahon nga makagugol og pagtabang sa kandidatura sa iyang asawa nga si Ria Mato ni Samsam nga mao kini ang gisulti ni kongresista Eduardo Gulias kaniya di ang iya kining gibisita og ang iyang mamainday nga asawa sa kongresista ang asawa ni Samsam Gulias, misang as ang Certificate of Candidacy ni Adtong Biernes sa pagkamayor niya sa Dakbayan sa Talisay. Ayang atbang ang Vice Mayor nga si Alan Bukaw nga ilang kanhing kalyado sa Alayon Party. Apan ni Bia o nagtukod o iyang kagalingong partido human nga giingong wa mutuman ang pamilyang Gulias sa saad nga to kaniya nga siya ang padaganon isip mayor. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang dakbayan sa Sugbo. Adon ay 22 ka bagong kaso. Kini base sa report sa Department of Health. Samtang Mandawi, 20, Lapu-Lapu, Siam, Lalawigan sa Sugbo, 30, Buhol, 72, Sikihor, 3 ka bagong kaso. Negros Oriental, 38. Sa kinatibukan, maabot sa 194 ka bagong kaso sa coronavirus din sa Sarion 7 kagahapong Adlawa. Personal grudge ang usa sa mga gitanaw nga posibleng motibo sa pagpatay sa netabong pagbanhig sa Gila nga leader sa fraternity o kanhi barangay konsihal sa barangay Kalambang nga si Richard Buscaino. Giposil sa umailihing riding in tandem si Buscaino ni Adtong Biernes sa hapon diya sa medan 3 de Abril sa barangay Kalamba, Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Suma sa mga pasiunang investigasyon sa Sawang Kalero Police Station, dali nga gipaarakan sa mga gunmen ang sakyanan ni Buscaino dayon og sibat. Si Buscaino doon ay upat ka mga samad pinus silan nga may resulta sa iyang kamatayon. Gitunaan pa sa kapulisan ang CCTV footage ug duol sa crime scene aron matumbo kon kinsa ang miposil sa biktima. Gawa sa pagka leader sa ilang nga fraternity na nagiya usab si Buskay no gusto ka ponerarya ug aktibo usab kini sa pipila ka mga proyekto diha sa ilang komunidad. Wag tuo ang mga pahalipay ng inaangkon sa veterano nga journalist nga si Maria Risa human giila isip Nobel Peace Prize Award eh, karong tuiga gumikan sa paglambo sa kagawasan sa prinsa. Gawas ni Vice Presidente Lenny Robredo o pipila ka mga senador gipasigarbo ni U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton ang kontribusyon ni Risa sa tinuod nga pagbalita taliwa sa nakita ng mga kadaot ubo sa Duterte Administration. Gikalipay o sab sa National Union Journalists of the Philippines o Foreign Correspondent Association of the Philippines ang kadaugan ni Risa din dako kini og tabang aron mamintinar ang kagawasan sa prinsa gikasuhan si Risa og kasong libel ni adtong nakalabay mga tuig gumikan sa pagbalita sa gingong pag-abusar sa gahom ubos sa liderato ni Presidente Rodrigo Duterte ilabi na sa dugoong gera batok sa drugas that I, I am fighting for, but the hard part is that you never want to be the story. As a journalist, you know, who grew up at the time I did, it's uncomfortable to be the story. But when the government makes me the story, what I've learned is that I at least take that firsthand knowledge of the abuse of power and I will fight for my rights. And it, it is something I've said to Filipinos all the time. Silence is consent. Maukad to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar at ang iyang atong sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi eh. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTA in Chapel Daghang salamat Peace.
of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. As we celebrate this Mass, let us ask the intercession of St. John the 23rd Pope for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries this month, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration, and for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave blessed John the 23rd to be shepherd of the whole church and made him resplendent with wondrous virtue and teaching, grant that we who venerate the merits of such a bishop may shine with good deeds before others and burn with love before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, the gospel about his son, descended from David according to the flesh, but established a son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness through resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also who are called to belong to Jesus Christ to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Salvation 
sights of the nation he has revealed his justice he has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, somewhere, somehow, or somewhat, the presence of evil is prevalent in the community, in the country, or even in the world. Does it justify that we are in today's evil generation? Does it justify that we are today's evil generation? I beg to disagree. As long as we still see parents and godparents lit letting their little children receive the sacrament of baptism, as long as we still hear announcements regarding schedule for confirmation, as long as we still find a number of persons lining up for confession, as long as we still see sick persons asking and desiring to receive the sacrament of anointing of the sick, 
And as long as we still hear some news about newlyweds, newly ordained, and newly consecrated men and women, I beg to disagree because I still see and experience such signs that God has the upper hand. The Lord has still shown to our generation his saving power, his message of salvation. As long as each one of us is still determined to carry out good works and any acts of charity towards our brothers and sisters, regardless of status, race, color, or gender, we heed the call of Jesus today and believe that he is greater than Solomon and Jonah. Lastly, if we see around us the presence or the works of the dark side, if we easily point out the evil signs that surrounding our families, our communities, or even our country, hopefully we will never fail to see the many signs that God has given us, like the Eucharist, the sensible sign for us to taste God's goodness, present in each one of us for us to hear God's message of salvation and not condemnation for us to touch God's power and not the evil one for us to see God's greatness that lasts forever amen We turn now in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and to respond firmly to Christ's call for repentance. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hearts of all men and women may be converted to the Lord who calls the world to repentance. Let us pray to the Lord that we may accept the full message of the gospel, including those saying that speak of trouble and the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we, we may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your son. As from all eternity you willed his resurrection, Associate us with him forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant our supplications, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present on the feast day of blessed John the 23rd may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John the 23rd, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We will eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to, to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we, As we forgive those who trespass against, against us, lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May the power of the gifts we have received, Lord God, on this feast day of Blessed John the 23rd, fill us with its effects, both to sustain our mortal life and to gain us the joy of unending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Branch of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines 